I am given Bonjitul Amon. Today in this video, we are going to learn about the difference between the verb Aple and Saple. The meaning of verb Aple is to call, that is to call. But the meaning of Saple verb, you can see here as an apostrophe, it means that is pronominal verb. So whenever you see Sir or Sa apostrophe before a verb, it means it's a pronominal verb and action is done by the subject itself. It means to call oneself. So whenever this is like it's a Saple verb means to call oneself. Okay, so it's like to call oneself and basically we use a uh, supply verb when we say our name only in case of our name when we say our name or we, when we ask someone's name so here we do pronominal verb but verb apply is to call that is to call someone else like to call a taxi to call mother or to call a doctor just like apply verb so let's see the conjugation of apple verb first. Verb apple that is in present tense, japel. So the conjugation is like same like er verb. So here ending is e. This become japel. So pronunciation comes japel together. Japel. Okay. Now this one is the second one is tu apel. Tu apel. And in case of he calls il appel she calls that is else appel okay so japel tu appel il appel el appel now in case of plural nous appelons there is lison s and r we pronounce together we call this lison so j sound come nous appelons appelons now this one is vous appelez vous appelez z sound come vous appelez and here il s'appelle Elsa Pell because E and D is silent. So again, Japel, Tu Appel, El Appel, El Appel, Nous appelons, Vous appelez, Elsa Pell, Elsa Pell. But uh, in case of pronominal verb, we just put reflexive pronoun that is mother, sir, no. But before to do this one, like uh, you must um, be noticing that why we are putting here double L and single L here in case of do and who, so it's like that you need to memorize. So, Japel, Tu Appel, Il Appel, El Appel, in case of singular, uh, there is double L, double L, double L. But in case of Nu and Bu, there is single L. And again, in case of plural, there, there is double L. Okay. Now, same in pronominal verb, that is the ending is same, like same Apple verb. But before Apple, we, call, we put reflexive pronoun means Jamapel, means I call to whom? Myself. Like ma is myself. So here to call oneself. So the meaning of ma is myself. And this is like ma. And why we put here ma and apostrophe? Because appel is start with a vowel. So you put apostrophe when a verb is start when a word is start with a vowel. Okay, so it's become jama pel. We pronounce this together. And we use jama pel when we say our name is my name is like I call myself. Literal meaning is I call myself. This one is tuta pel. Tuta pel means you call yourself. So ta is yourself. Okay, and uh, uh, this is t and apostrophe in case of vowel. Now el sapel, el sapel means his name is or her name is like he call himself and she call herself. So in case of il or el, we put sa. Okay, so now in case of plural, nu nu zapulong. Why we put here double nu? Because this one is about reflexive pronoun. The meaning is ourselves. So first one is the subject that is we. The second one is the reflexive pronoun that is ourselves. So we call to whom? Ourselves. It means our names are. So nu nu zapul. So suppose two person is saying their name like our names are like this. So it's like nu nu zapulong. Okay, no, no, zap, no. Now, bu, bu, zap, le. Bu, bu, zap, le means you call yourself. It means your uh, your name is. So here we use uh, another word that is yourself and it's an informal. This, is, this one is formal manner. Formal manner. Bu, bu, zap, le. The sound come here. And in case of plural, we put here as an apostrophe. S, why apostrophe here? Because it starts with a vowel. 
so here the meaning of sir is themselves just become il sapel el sapel it means like they call they call themselves okay so ent is silent so if you are saying my parents they call themselves means their names are uh, so in that case you use il sapel okay il sapel ent is silent so conjugation in present tense jama pen tipta pen il sapel el sapel nu nu zaplo vu vu zaple il sapel el sapel so it's a pronominal verb action is done by the subject itself that's why we use here uh, reflexive pronoun okay the difference is this so let's see some example like uh, when we are uh, talk about apple verb because apple verb is not a reflexive verb we are calling someone else so in that case the first one is i call a taxi to go to the airport so it means i am calling a taxi okay action is not action is action doesn't reflect to the subject okay so in that case it's not a pronominal verb so here japel we never put ma here japel means i call it's not like i call myself okay so japel a taxi put ale a lerpo lerpo is the airport okay so japel a taxi put ale a lerpo so i call a taxi to go to the airport now here nu zaplo means we call or we are calling un ambulance pas kil e malad so nu zaplo un ambulance pas kil e malad because he is sick so pas kil means because he is that is a adverb and malad means sick so here it's not a pronominal verb pronominal verb is basically when you are saying your name jama pel now if you are asking someone's name means uh, what's your name so we use informal manner like kamu tita pel so tita pel is like what's your name okay so kamu tita pel yeah this one means what's your name like how you call yourself so the meaning of this sentence is kamu tita pel what's your name and the literal meaning is how you call yourself kamu means how and the you is you and the apel is call so that is yourself okay it's a pronominal verb and the reply come jama pel means i jam is i ma means myself apel means call so here jama pel maria right now when we talk about like formal manner it become kamo vu zaple vu it means same like how you call yourself but this one is formal manner you put vu so kamo vu and again we put vu because it's like a pronominal verb reflexive pronoun and apple okay so here we put single l so kamo vu zaple miss you kamo vu zaple madam and the jama pel reply is always jama pel for example if you are saying like uh, what's his name in that case kamo kamo el sapel and in the in this case we are using sir because with el the reflexive pronoun sir come it means himself or herself according to the subject so kamo il sapel means how he call himself it means what's his name so you say il sapel reply come il sapel suppose you say il sapel john his name is john his name is john now the question come uh kamo el sapel miss what's her name so uh, it's like kamo el sapel the reply come el sapel maria okay so it's about the third person singular for example if you're talking about the group is how they call themselves miss what's their name so it's become kamo kamo that is plural el then s apostrophe come k double p p and in that case again double l comes then ent so kamo il sapel kamo il sapel the reply come il sapel il sapel is plural john a maria the case is about two person il sapel john a maria the names are john e and maria a means maria so this one is the pronominal verb and in pronominal verb we always put a reflexive pronoun 
and uh, in case of like aple verb we never put any reflexive pronoun never put okay so for example like i call my mother so in that case japel japel mamet it is japel mamet i call i call my mother and here for e we put x so japel mamet clear okay so thank you so much merci au revoir